Hey guys, Jen here of GadgetPilipinas.net. Welcome back to the channel. This is our fourth episode of the Stream Smart series where we teach you how to stream your PC or console games using XSplit Gamecaster. But before we get to the meat of our discussion, let me first uh, remind everyone to please check our communities tab here on YouTube and also on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash gadgetpilipinas because we're announcing the winners or we've announced the winners of our January to April giveaway uh, there. So go ahead and check it out. Now, siempre, we have a giveaway for the month of uh, May. We're giving away a Realme C3. So if you haven't joined, please click that subscribe button and notification bell and check the description down below on the mechanics on how to win. We're giving away this for one lucky subscriber based in the Philippines. Last episode, we talked about how you can stream your games using XSplit Gamecaster. Ano ba yung mga requirements? And also, ano ba yung mga steps in order for you to be able to stream your PC games using this free application? This is perfect timing because uh, naglalabasan na yung mga bagong games ngayon for PlayStation 4. We just uh, finished Final Fantasy VII Remake and uh, we also posted our review of it on our website at onemoregame.ph. We cannot wait to play this upcoming game called Ghost of Tsushima. It's going to be out later this year and uh, we'll let you know or we'll teach you kung paano yung stream to using XSplit Gamecaster. But before anything else, we have some items or requirements uh, that we need to tick off in our checklist para matingnan kung sapat ba o meron ba ikaw ng mga equipment at software in order for you to stream your PlayStation 4 games. Kahit obvious, siyempre kailangan natin ng PlayStation 4. It doesn't matter if you have the regular or the slim or the pro version. What matters most is you are able to play PlayStation 4 titles. At the time of the production of this video, wala pang PlayStation 5, but I will definitely update our tutorial once it is officially out. Now, the next thing that you need to check, and this one is a must, is that you should have a capture card, just like the one in the video right now. Now, what this does uh, from the name itself, it basically captures your feed or PlayStation 4 feed to your PC. Technically speaking, a capture card is optional if you are not going to use a third-party software for streaming, just like XSplit Gamecaster. However, if you want to stream your console games on any other software or let's say you wish to maximize your streaming experience, then I would really suggest that you get yourself a decent capture card. At the time of the production of this video, PlayStation 4 would allow you to stream your games on YouTube and Twitch. But it is impossible right now for you to be able to stream your PlayStation 4 games to Facebook directly from the console. That's why we recommend that you use a capture card with this software called XSplit Gamecaster. Question po, Sir GN, no? Ano ba yung mga capture card na gumagana on the PlayStation 4 and XSplit Gamecaster? Well, according to XSplit, most capture cards available in the market right now would work on the software and the PlayStation 4. Now, in our case, we have 100% compatibility with Elgato HD60 and also with Razer Ripso HD. So the question now is, ano ang dapat na capture card na gagamitin ko? Well, depende yan. May mga capture card kasi that would only allow you to stream your games up to HD or 720p. But uh, this is actually more than enough for you to uh, stream your games and uh, you know getting a good balance of quality and performance. Usually, if you're going to buy a capture card, you have to remember that uh, the higher the resolution and the frame rate of uh, that particular capture card that you're looking for, the more expensive it is. So in this case, we would recommend that you get yourself a capture card that would be suitable for your system and also for your internet connection. Siyempre, meron din naman mga capture cards that would allow you to stream up to 4K if you wish to. But then again, as I mentioned earlier, you invest on something that your system is capable of uh, streaming. The next thing that you need is, uh, of course, a PC or a laptop, just like uh, this one what we have right here, in order for you to stream your PlayStation 4 feed. Now, in terms of specifications, at this point, I highly recommend that you go and check out our episodes 2 and 3 for the streaming requirements kasi sakto-sakto at parehas lang. But I would like to give you a checklist for your information. You need, of course, a 4th gen Intel Core i5 processor or an AMD alternative to that, an 8GB of RAM, NVIDIA GTX 970 or AMD RX 5500 XT, 250 MB of available storage space, 
a PC with XSplit Gamecaster in DirectX 10.1 or higher installed, 5 to 8 Mbps upload speed, and lastly, your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro. Now here's a quick connection guide uh, for you. Now, you have to remember that your PlayStation 4 has an HDMI cable. You need to connect that to the HDMI in of your capture card. Now, from that point, your capture card would also have its own uh, HDMI out. You have to connect an HDMI cable there and you have to connect that to your TV that will allow you to see what you are playing. Now, how are you going to see your gameplay feed on your PC? All you gotta do is connect a USB on your capture card and from there, you connect that USB cable to your PC. Now, to start streaming with your PlayStation 4 turned on, fire up the game you wish to play. And then the next thing you do is uh, you run XSplit Gamecaster sa PC mo or sa laptop mo and then hanapin mo yung main source na button sa lower left. Now, step three, piliin mo lang yung capture card mo as your main source. Usually, Gamecaster will suggest to make your capture card as main source, so just simply allow it. Step number four, your main screen should now reflect what's on your TV or what you are playing on your TV. Step number five, you can now play your PlayStation 4 games and you can now also see it on your Gamecaster's main screen. All you gotta do now is to just simply add streaming elements like themes, webcam, etc. Well, we talked about this as uh, episode one of our Stream Smart series. So if you want to know how you can do these things, you can go and check out episode one. That's it. Our step number six is you just have to click that go live or stream button so you can start streaming your PlayStation 4 games using XSplit Game Caster. All you got to do now is to just simply share your stream link to your friends and family. Arriba, so on the Lilium stream using your XSplit Gamecaster and PlayStation 4, you just have to make sure the lahat ng requirements ay nasa yo. That's it guys for our fourth episode. Again, I would like to thank you for supporting the channel. I would like also to recommend that you click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can see videos like this in the future. And just in case you forgot, we are giving away a Realme C3 for the month of May. Details on how you can join is in the description down below. This is open to all our Filipino and non-Filipino subscribers based in the Philippines. And now for those of you who wish to know our winners from our previous episodes, you can go and check it out sa ating uh, communities page or on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash gadgetpilipinas. Meron din kaming uh, Facebook group page which we're also advertising as well on our Facebook page. Again, this has been Gian of GadgetPilipinas.net. Maraming salamat sa panonood and see you soon on our next episode of Stream Smart Series with XSplit. Ciao!